Well, last week I went to Riot Fest here in Chicago, so now I have to catch up with the recent releases in horror. I'm trying to get as many films in as I can for my yearly countdown of the best of horror, which, if you can believe it, begins next week. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see the topic of today's video among that list. So let's get a grip on star Halle Berry and director Alexandra Aja's new film, Never Let Go. Never Let Go is new in theaters from Lionsgate Pictures. It's directed by Alexandra Aja and written by K.C. Coughlin and Ryan Graspie. Halle Berry plays Mama, the mother of two young boys, Samuel, played by Anthony B. Jenkins, and Nolan, played by Percy Daggs IV, who all live in a wooden cabin in the middle of a dense woods. Mama believes that there's a great evil lurking in the woods outside their house's perimeter, but as long as they stay connected to the house by a long rope when they go outside, they're protected from those evil forces. As Samuel and Nolan grow older, they begin to wonder what is beyond the length of the rope and doubt their mother's warnings. Reminiscent of a few other horror films recently released, specifically Arcadian with Nick Cage in the role Barry plays, and a little bit of Lovely Dark and Deep thrown in, along with some sprinkles of Goodnight Mommy, the original, not that lame remake with Naomi Watts, Never Let Go distinguishes itself by way of acting talent. Sure, those other movies were well acted, but in this movie specifically, Barry and the young actors playing the two kids stand out as exceptional. Barry is in an unflattering role with no makeup and isn't afraid to get her hands dirty. Her character does some horrible things in order to survive and protect her children, and Barry is ruthless in the role. If anything, this is a movie that proves what a talented and underutilized actress she really is. Supporting Barry are the two boys, Anthony B. Jenkins and Percy Daggs IV, who play Samuel and Nolan, respectively. While again, these roles are far from original, with one unquestionably following his mother's orders and the other tempted to go against them due to curiosity and sheer child rebelliousness, these two little actors offer up wonderfully natural performances. There are large sections where Barry isn't around, and these two actors fill that void with their talent with ease. But the big question in Never Let Go is whether or not Barry's mama is nuts or if there really is something horrible haunting the family from the woods outside. In many ways, the answer doesn't matter, though we do get some hints by the time the movie ends. Is this a story about a demonic possession that overruns the world, or is it more of a down-to-earth story about one very mentally ill woman trying to protect her sons from her hallucinations? The movie kind of answers both of those questions without doing so outright, and those who like a buttoned-up and tidy ending might wince at how this one wraps up. Though I kind of like the enigmatic way this one ends. That said, Never Let Go is a rich film in terms of theme. One can apply all trains of thought and meaning from all corners of theory to this film, and it can work. If you want to look at the film through a psychological lens, whether the worldwide possession is real or not, the selective way Mama sees the monsters, her rationale about why the children don't see the monsters, and how they seem to be developing the ability to see these creatures, again, whether they're real or not, can be seen as representative to schizophrenia and how it is theorized to be passed on from parent to child. Mental illness also can be the cause of magical thinking, like a rope can protect you from all forms of harm. One can also attribute these visions to a shared psychosis or some kind of groupthink where the children, exposed to mama's rants for so long, begin seeing these visions as well. Then again, if you want to look at this through a more Freudian lens, mama ties her children to home as a way for her to keep them from leaving her care and signifies her selfish refusal to let them lead their own lives and form their own beliefs. Want a cultural angle? How about the rope tying the children to their home representing the American black family's quandary whether to stay stagnant and stuck in the past or venture forth into the future where freedom lies in today's society? What a feminist angle? Barry's mama is a strong female character, 
not flawless but constantly struggling to keep her family together despite insurmountable odds. Throughout the film, Barry must not only assume the role of the mother, but also the role of the breadwinner in this fractured family. This film interested me because it can be dissected from many angles with many critical tools. And while most critics seem to only want to use one or two tools in their critical toolbox, I find looking at these films from various ways makes criticism more interesting to me and hopefully for you as well. Back to the film, while I wouldn't call Never Let Go absolutely terrifying, I was heavily invested in the characters' plights and concerned for their safety in this wildly unpredictable story. Most of the effects scenes were spoiled in the trailer, but they are quite creepy and make for some treacherous challenges for our three heroes. I will admit, though, that I shot back in my chair very early in the film due to a well-timed jump scare. Never Let Go is very similar to other films we've seen this year, but it does every one of those familiar aspects especially well. The film could be examined from a dozen different angles, and that's due to a story that plunges forward and keeps the audience guessing. It's also due to some very solid talent involved in front of and behind the camera. While Alexander Aha has had his share of hits and misses, Never Let Go is one of his better ones. Knowing that Aha was behind the mind-scrogging high tension, the surprisingly twisted Hills Have Eyes remake, and the mainstream and fun crawl, it's no wonder how thematically hefty and thoroughly entertaining Never Let Go turned out to be. Please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Stuck inside your reality, your